This season, 2013-2014, features the usual uh, mixture of revivals of great plays by world-class authors, some of them more contemporary, some of them uh, a little bit older, with great artists, some of them who have worked with us and are part of the Roundabout family, and some of them who are new to Roundabout. Um, we think that theaters like Roundabout uh, are the closest thing to repertory that exists um, in this country today, uh, because you get a chance to see your favorite artists come back every few years and do their work, and uh, yet they go off and they make movies and they do television shows, and they, but they all come back eventually. Um, and this season is a perfect example of that. So we're very excited to welcome back the family of Roundabout, the writers, directors, actors, uh, designers, and of course the most important member of our family, which is you, the subscriber. Welcome. Our first play of the season at the Pels uh, will be a play called Bad Jews. It's a wonderful comedy by a startlingly young writer named Josh Harmon, directed by Daniel Alkin. It had its world premiere last year at the Black Box Theater. Um, and this is extremely exciting for us. It's the first time that we've ever moved the production from the Black Box Theater up to the Pels. Bad Jews was a big hit for us this past fall in Roundabout Underground, and that's a space that we created to launch the careers of emerging playwrights. And the basic idea is to give them a space to premiere their work, to introduce them to the theatrical community and to audiences, and hopefully be the launch pad for their ongoing career. It's really a comedy about cultural versus religious Judaism. Um, and it's, I would say, although it's a comedy, it has very serious undertones and will leave the audience uh, provoked as well as entertained. I know that in the title it's, you know, it's obviously people assume that it's going to be this big um, Jewish story and I think it's more about family and so I think that one of the reasons why the play was so successful is because it speaks to everybody that's ever been to a giant family function. Each of these family members has very different agendas and very different points of view on the loss of their grandfather. It's about loss, it's about ownership, it's about uh, love. I think that audiences identify with, if not all the characters, at least one. They see themselves and their other family members in this play. The first play at the American Airlines Theater this fall will be a production of Terrence Radigan's brilliant play, The Winslow Boy. It's one of his better known plays, a story about the love, unconditional love, between a father and son and uh, some of the complications that arise from that. And um, it's directed, I saw a production of it at the old vacant London. I thought it was brilliant. And so we're having that uh, director, whose name is Lindsay Posner, come and direct a production for us. So it's based on the Old Vic production uh, with an entirely American cast. With The Winslow Boy, we once again have a father-son relationship at the heart of the play. In this case, the patriarch of the family is, uh, he really becomes obsessed with saving his son's reputation because they are one family, this is their good name on the line, and so when his son is accused of something and he believes it's a false accusation, he will stop at nothing to defend his son. It's a very, very powerful moving story that I think uh, is typical of, in the best sense of what Roundabout does, which is do these great plays, but great plays that aren't necessarily seen every three or four or five or six years. And um, I think the audience will be incredibly entertained and incredibly moved by it. Thank you.